Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah. Ve salatu vesselamu ala seyyidina Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve mula. Ve eşhedü en la ilahe illallah vahdahu la şerike lehu. Ve eşhedü enne Muhammeden abduhu ve resuluhu. Ve safiyyuhu min halkihi ve halilu. Sallallahu aleyhi ve ala alihi ve ashabihi ecma'in. Thumma amma ba'd. Allah subhanahu ve ta'ala yakul. Ulaike allazina hada Allahu fabi hudahum iqtadih. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, referring to the prophets, those are the ones that whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided, so follow their guidance. So uh, that's why it's important for us to know their stories, to know something about them. Uh, today we'll be talking about one of the earliest prophets, Prophet Idris alayhi salam. Prophet Idris was mentioned in Surah Al-Anbiya, wa Ismaila, wa Idris wa Dal-Kifl, and he was also mentioned in Surah Maryam. وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِدْرِيسِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ صَدِّيقًا نَبِيًّا وَرَفَعْنَاهُ مَكَانًا عَلِيًّا The books of history tells us that Idris was the fifth generation after Adam. He is the great-grandchildren of Adam a.s. The fifth generation. And because people at that time used to live long, so Adam alayhi salam saw Idris. People used to see their you know, grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren, five or six generations. So Idris alayhi salam saw his great-great-grandfather, Adam alayhi salam. And as we all know, Adam is the first messenger and prophet who brought uh, or received the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know what happened between his two sons, Qabil and Habil, and the um, offsprings of Adam start growing and building a small community, and the community start growing and growing. And it has been said that um, the, the descendants of Qabil were not as much righteous as the descendants of the other children of Adam, Sheath was one of them. Sheath was one of the prophets after Adam, السلام, although the Quran did not talk about Sheath, um, but uh, the books of uh, uh, history tell us that Sheath was the successor of Adam. When Adam died, Sheath was the uh, successor of Adam, and he was the leader of the human community, and he was responsible to apply the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And few generations after came Idris alayhi salam, who was a very righteous man. He was not a messenger, he was a prophet. And yes, there is a difference, slight difference between prophets and messengers. Every messenger is a prophet, but not every prophet is a messenger. We know um, generally the number of the prophets um, is 124,000, 124,000 prophets. And the messengers are... Uh, 313 has been said also 315 or 317 around this time around this number um, the number of the messengers so Nuh alayhi salam was a messenger who came right after Idris who came after Idris alayhi salam so Adam, Sheaf, Idris and then when uh, the end the, the Shayateen actually this uh, misguided people and they told them to worship the statues they built for the righteous people, and then Nuh salam was sent, and we uh, talked about Nuh salam. So, Idris came between Adam and Nuh alayhi salam. He was not a messenger because uh, there was no new message. Usually, the messengers are those who bring a new message from Allah subhanahu wa taala, like Nuh, like Musa, like Isa alayhi salam, and like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. By a new message, we don't mean he cancelled the previous message, but confirms the previous message and bring some differences something that was haram is made halal or vice versa um, the new obligations and halal and haram and so on um, so generally um, um, Idris alayhi salam uh, again did not bring a new message because the message was still fresh the message of uh, Adam alayhi salam but he was a very righteous person and he loves to teach, he loves to educate, he loves to enjoy good and forbid evil. He was um, righteous within himself and he was also a um, reformist and he was a teacher and a guide and very active person in the community to the point where the angel that comes to him told him that 
have a good news that Allah tells you that the good deeds that go up, your good deeds that go up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equal to the good deed of the entire uh, believing population. So all the believers at that time, and as, again, at that time, people were still generally righteous, worshipping one God and following the guidance and the uh, revelation uh, that was revealed to Adam. So he said to him, because of your role in the community, because of your love to teach and to guide people and to help people, um, your good deeds is equal to the good deeds of all the believers on earth. So he was very happy and, uh, and uh, he wanted actually to live longer because he wanted to do more good deeds. He wanted to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more before he, he died. I will talk about the story of his death. But he is also um, Siddiqan Nabiya. Allah said about him, إِنَّهُ كَانَ صَدِّيقًا نَبِيًّا وَرَفَعْنَاهُ مَكَانَ عَلَيَّ We raised him to a very high place, or very high status. So whether مَكَانًا uh, can we could be translated as a high place or high status, two opinions. But he definitely was in a very high status in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because people, even the believers, are not equal in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of them are more righteous than others and some of them are closer to Allah than others. Some of them are higher in rank than others. And in the Day of Judgment, all these things will be known. Because Jannah is not one place as we know it, are darajat. Hum darajatun عند Allah. With Allah, people are darajat, there are different levels. So he was raised to a very high place near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his righteousness. Now, can Siddiqan. The word Siddiqan, once we say Siddiq, we remember Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu um, the Siddiq of this Ummah. This Ummah is full of Siddiqeen, alhamdulillah, in the time of the Sahaba, not only one Siddiq, Abu Bakr, but many uh, Siddiqeen uh, before Islam, uh, the followers of Musa and Isa and Ibrahim, many Siddiqeen. Uh, and this Ummah will have all the Siddiqeen, Thullatun min al awalina wa qalilun min al akhirin. Maybe those Siddiqeen in the um, uh, later time uh, are less than the Siddiqeen in the earlier time in the time of the Prophet said, but there will always be Siddiqeen and the definition of Siddiq from linguistic perspective the Siddiq is the one who is constantly truthful truthful to himself truthful to Allah truthful in believing without any doubt in everything that the Prophet says they see the truth they follow the truth they know Whatever they know, they follow. So they, they, they have no doubt. They don't um, believe only when everything is going fine or when you go through some hardship, they, they change as many people do. No. Abu Bakr was called Sabdiq because he believed anything the Prophet ﷺ says. Anything come out of his mouth, وسلم, he believes it, even if it does not make a lot of sense to many people. And when people told Abu Bakr that your friend Muhammad ﷺ, Claimed that he went from Mecca to Jerusalem and came back in the same night. He said, if he said that, I believe him. And then he went to the Prophet ﷺ and the Prophet ﷺ gave him this um, title, as siddiq al Bakr as siddiq because he believes his entire life was serving Islam, defending Islam, following the um, guidance of Rasulullah ﷺ. So, um, we translate Siddiqin as saint uh, or saint, um, saint or saint, and, you know, uh, the word Siddiqin is a Quranic term. And you can see that Siddiqin come right after the Prophets. The Prophets are the highest level and then the Siddiqin and the Shuhada and the Salihin. So the Shuhada and the Salihin and the Siddiqin of this Ummah are plenty, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To make us among them, a person came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hadith Sahih. He said, "Ya Rasulullah, you think if I say the Shahada, I pray five times a day and fast Ramadan and give zakah and make Hajj, would Allah be happy with me?" He said, "If whoever does this will be written with the Siddiqin and Shuhada. Shuhada, those who witness." So, إِنَّهُ كَانَ صَدِّيقًا نَبِيًّا. Idris was Siddiq, very righteous person. Siddiq, he lives his entire life for Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. At all times, under any circumstances, he, his entire life is devoted to Allah to teach the uh, word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to 
guide people to teach them what he was also a very creative person uh, that we know that there are so many things he invented uh, he invented the writing with the pen he was the first one to write and it has been said that he used to draw things on the sand and then he created the pen and he taught people how to create symbols for the sounds and, and start writing he was also um, uh, the first one to weave uh, wool um, you know and, and, and make clothes out of this and he's the first one to sew clothes and he was the first one who uh, knew uh, uh, astronomy and he knows the groups of stars and that knowing the direction and so on so he was he was he was a very unique person very righteous and very useful to the community and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the knowledge of these things so people used to have like uh, leather of the animals and wrap it around their body but he knew how to move how to weave um, uh, wool and how to um, sew clothes and and so on so um, that started very early on with Idris alayhi, alayhi salam so he was uh, liked by his community he was a righteous person and uh, Kabul Ahbar mentioned a story. Um, Kabul Ahbar was one of the Jews who converted to Islam and he he's, he's, was a very good Muslim. And Umar radiallahu anhu used to love him and to ask his opinion. Um, so he knows a lot of stories um, uh, called Israelites or Israeliyat um, because he was a scholar, uh, a Jewish scholar who converted to Islam. So. Um, Regarding وَرَفَعْنَاهُ مَكَانًا عَلِيَّ Allah said we have raised him to a high place or high status. So when the angel told him that your good deeds are equal to the good deeds of all the believers, he said, I wish I would see the angel of death and ask him to delay my, my uh, death so that I can do more good deeds. So the angel told him, yes, you can come with me. Let's, let's go and see the angel of death. And he took him on his wing and they went up to the heaven, according to this narration. And uh, they passed the first um, heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven. All, all what we know in this universe is just the first heaven. So you can imagine how big the, and the first heaven is smaller than the second and the second is smaller than the third and, and so on. So they, they kept going up with the intention of meeting the angel of death. So that Idris can make such request. So in the fourth heaven, the angel of death was coming down and they met him in the fourth heaven. So this angel actually introduced the angel of death to Idris and Idris to the angel of death. And he said, Idris just have a request. And he said, what, what is it? He said, uh, he wants to live a little longer so he can do more good deeds and more teaching and so on. And he said, you know what? Uh, it's very interesting because I've just received a command from Allah to take the life of Idris in the fourth heaven. And I said to myself, how could this happen? Where is Idris and where is the fourth heaven? So, But now I saw him and it's time for Idris to go. Is it time? Yes, it's time. Nothing left? He said, no, nothing left. He must die here and now and he died on the fourth heaven. And in the Hadith al-Isra al-Mi'raj, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he went up to the seventh heaven, in, in, in every heaven he met some prophets. In the fourth heaven, he met um, Idris alayhi salam, who said to him, Marhaban bil, uh, bil, uh, bil uh, Nabi al-Salih wa al-Akh al-Salih. Welcome to the righteous brother and righteous prophet. He is not righteous, he said righteous son. Uh, Adam said that to Rasulullah sallallahu because everybody is the son of Adam. And Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he saw uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi in the seventh heaven, he said, Marhaban bil, bil Nabi salih wa, wa, bil, bil, wa bil ibn salih. Welcome to the righteous son and righteous prophet. So that's why they said he is not from the lineage of Rasulullah is not from the lineage of, of Idris uh, all the way up to Adam. That's that's one of the um, evidence that that he is not one of uh, the descendants of Idris alayhi salam. But anyways, um, so Idris alayhi salam died, and Allahu alam uh, that was very unique for him um, that he was raised to such great 
uh, place and um, died in the fourth heaven. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَرَفَعْنَاهُ مَكَانًا عَلِيَّ Allah talked about Idris alayhi salam so highly and he was again one of the first uh, prophets or among the first prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his peace and blessings upon Idris and, and Adam, and Nuh and Musa and Isa and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. قول قولي هذا واستغفر الله